righteous in all his ways. Gracious in all his ways. And you are righteous in all your ways. You're gracious in all your ways. So Lord, are you righteous in all your
So I bring him what the angels cannot bring And I bring him what the elders cannot give him tonight for the church in this city from Ephesians chapter 1 that the Father of glory would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of Christ Jesus that he would enlighten our eyes and that we would know the exceeding greatness of his power towards us so Father of glory we come before you tonight we take our place on the wall of intercession in the watches of the night God in the womb of the morning and we confess, God, you are great and we do not know you. You are the unsearchable one, past finding out. And we bring before you, Father of glory, the church in this city, your bride, your beloved. And we ask, God, that you would release the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of your Son, Christ Jesus the Lord, 
that you would magnify Christ in the church tonight. We ask that God, you would release such a, uh, a dispatch of light and understanding on the hearts and minds of your people that Christ would be magnified and exalted in the saints. We ask that you would cause a revolution to spring forth from the church in this city, a people of, uh, of understanding, a people that see the worth of the Son and whose lives match up accordingly. God, we are in need of revelation. We're in need of, of illumined minds, enlightened minds. We ask God that you would cause the revelation of Christ to go forth from this city like an atomic explosion of white crystal light, that there would be such a manifestation of the greatness and the worth of Jesus and the church in this city that it would explode and touch the nations. Give us a spirit of wisdom and understanding and lighten our eyes in Jesus' name. Father, we ask for your bride in this city. Revelation to every heart. Would you come and enlighten our eyes? Come Send and give light. us sight. Send forth light. Send Knowledge forth truth. Of the Holy One, send it forth. Let us see Jesus Christ. In all of his beauty. We want to see his beauty, Father. Come exalt your son. Let us see his glory, his beauty. High and lifted up in the city. Father, let there be light. Let us see your son. Let there be light. you would manifest the exceeding greatness of your power, that same power that you use to raise Christ from the dead, would you manifest it on your church? We ask God that in this city you would fill stadiums full of thousands and ten thousands of people who worship day and night and night and day and see released the power of God for the healing of sicknesses. We ask God that you would assemble in stadiums and arenas night and day worship that would manifest power over cancer, over all manners of uh, disorders and diseases that no disease known to man would stand before the praying church in this city. God, release the exceeding greatness of your power in Jesus' name. church in the city from 2nd Thessalonians 3 pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified just as it is with you the Lord is faithful who will establish you and guard you from the evil one may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God 
and to the patience of Christ. Jesus, we come before you and we lift up your bride in this city. And Lord, we ask that you would send forth your word to churches in this city. Lord, as your church gathers today, Lord, we ask that your word would go forth, that you would release a very spirit of prophecy upon pastors, upon worship leaders, Sunday school teachers, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you would release your word, that they would begin to prophesy, that they would testify with the beauty of your Son, that your word would go forth, that it would pierce hearts. Lord, we ask for the, the most broken and hardened hearts in your church, those that sit in the back week after week, feeling so unloved, feeling so rejected, not really even knowing if you really exist. Lord, we ask that your word would go forth, that it would pierce their hearts, that you would reveal yourself to them. Lord, we ask this Sunday, Lord, that you would release the revelation of Christ, that you would make him known, that you would testify, Holy Spirit, of the Son, that you would testify of Jesus, you, O Lord, who is the helper, who came to testify of his beauty. Lord, we ask that you would make him known, make him known to the bride in this city in the name of Jesus. shut up in their bones that they would prophesy to the congregations Lord we ask would you release your word would you oh God release revelation of your son that your church would be awakened by the beauty of your son we ask oh Lord send forth your word in the name of Jesus Let it bring light, release the arrow of your word. Release 
source of light and truth in this city. To every congregation.
this one city, God, would you spark a fire in them, Father, that burns their very bones, that causes them to make your name known in this city again and to make your name known in this nation. Father, would you just make your name known in Yeshua's name? Father, in and through your bride, make your name known. Throughout the city, put your glory 
type of rapid fire prayer, asking God to open the heavens and release massive revival in this city. I'd like to invite 15 or 20 to join me. God, we on the earth cry out, your church in this city, open up the heavens. God, manifest your power and your great name, make it known. We ask God for a mighty move of revival in this city that would exalt the name of Jesus through signs and wonders, through healings, through power demonstrations, that the multitudes, God, would come into the kingdom, that you would raise up, God, a worship movement of thousands on thousands of those who had encountered your great name and your power, and now declare your worth. In Jesus' name, release revival. Open up the heavens, open up, open up. City. Father, we say we will not stop crying out day and night until you rend the heavens and that you release the very fullness of your spirit and that Jesus is glorified. Oh, but would you rend the heavens and send your signs and wonders and bring revival and mercy back to this nation? Father, we come to you tonight, God, as a needy people. Lord, we lift up the church in this city. We ask you to pour out your spirit in Jesus' name. Father, we say stir up your zeal from your holy habitation. God, we ask for an open heaven over this city, Lord, that you would release fascination in Jesus' name. Choose voluntary weakness, Lord, and have mercy. Abba, manifest your glory in this city. Father God, I prophesy, let every gate and door in this city be open, that the King of glory would come, and let your kingdom rule and reign in Jesus' name. 
Father, we ask even as churches meet this morning that you confirm your word with signs, wonders, and miracles in Jesus' name. God, I ask for all the ones who are asleep, God, would you wake them up, God? Would you cause them to rise up and to come into their destiny? Yes, Lord God, we contend right now for revival in this city in Jesus' name. Abba, Father, we just ask for more of the love of the Father to come and touch people's hearts. Father, we ask for your love to be poured out on the hearts of teenagers all across the city. Father, I ask that your spirit would be poured out. Father, I ask that your word would run swiftly in the name of Jesus. As your people we cry out, cause your glory to come down. Show us your glory, your God. Make your name known. As your people we cry out, cause your glory to come down. Make your name known. Make your name known. As your people we cry out, cause your glory to come down. Make your name known. Make your name known. As your people we cry out.
we go into another time of uh, excuse me another time of worship we're gonna have a time of small group prayer if you'd like to participate you can go ahead and stand now and gather in a groups of three to five people uh, you don't have to wait to be invited to a group just if you'd like to pray stand and find some others that are gathered near you
praying for the church of this city out of Ephesians 1, 17 through 19. That the Father of glory may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of his glory and the inheritance of the saints and his exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power. Father, here we stand again. Lord, we stand by faith and we stand before the throne. Lord, we set our eyes on things above, Lord, where Christ is seated. Lord, the man, Lord, the lamb, the branch, he who overcame so that we can overcome. Lord, I pray that that kind of understanding, that kind of revelation, Lord, would touch every heart of the believers in this city, Lord. I pray that the ability to overcome, Lord, would would be put into their minds, Lord. Lord, that the grace given, Lord, the grace that your son operated in, the grace that you give so generously, Lord, would be poured out into the hearts of all the believers, Lord, that they're struggling in sin, that they feel as though that there's no way out, that again and again that they can't overcome, Lord. I pray that in overcoming strength and might would enter into their soul and their spirit, Lord, that they have a no, uh, just a new outlook, Lord, on their faith in your son, Jesus. So in the name, above all other names, Lord, would you release grace to overcome. Release grace. grace. To overcome. Like you overcame. Every believer in the city, God. We're asking for strength upon strength. For grace upon grace. Feeble need flickering flame. Come and strengthen us yes. with beauty, beauty. Strengthen Come us with your beauty. Come and strengthen us with glory, glory. We hold you in all your beauty, in all your glory, God. Give us this grace to overcome. Hope we to overcome. want to run this race because of beauty. Confidence in your son. Motivated by glory. Just one glimpse of your face. One glimpse of your beauty to be compelled by you, Lord. Give us grace to run this race. Give us us might to overcome. Give us grace to run this race. Give us might to overcome. Give us grace to run. believers who who know your name they've walked with you for years lord but they never knew your presence they never knew the power lord that you give the mighty power from the throne lord i pray that their eyes would be set lord on the throne or their eyes would be set on the indwelling spirit that that is a source of strength that is a source of comfort that is a source of hope and confidence lord would you open up their eyes would you reveal to them the mighty power that lives inside their body and that the access that they have Lord, by the suffering and the uh, sacrifice of your son, Lord, would you give it to them? Lord, would you give them the hope? Would you give them the revelation, Lord, that changes their schedule, that changes the way they think, the way they talk, the way they schedule their life, Lord, that they would set themselves, Lord, to encounter God, Lord, that they would have a, a newfound hope, a newfound way of understanding the Bible, and when they open up the word, you encounter them. Lord, that their heart comes aflame with love. Lord, that their eyes are open, Lord, and that they are seen with clarity. So in the name of Jesus, Lord, would you release your presence upon this city. Abba, we say, come to the bride in this city, God. Do you see the man of fire? Show her the hope Give she's been called to. Revelation. Show us this hope we've been called to in Jesus. Encourage every heart. Show us the access we've been given. Even when we're in your sun, we're hoping hearts tonight. It's by your spirit we can gain access. Open up many eyes. Dwelling with God. Make known this hope of glory within. Open our eyes. God living on the Open inside. Open our eyes. Make known this hope.
praying for people of Cairo out of Ephesians 3, 16 to 19, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height, to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Father of glory, we come before you by the power of the blood of your Son, and we lift up to you the people of Cairo this night. We ask you for encounter right now, Lord, in their hearts. I ask you, Lord, that you would soften every hardened heart, every heart of stone into a heart of flesh. I ask you for healing deep in the hearts, Lord, of the people in Cairo, whether they be Muslims, whether they be Christians, Lord, whether they be atheists, Lord, I ask for encounter right now with their hearts. I ask that, Jesus, you would encounter them in dreams, in visions, in the day. I ask that you would walk into their bedrooms at night, Lord. That they would know that there is only one hope, there is only one love. They would know this love that passes all knowledge. That passes all head knowledge. They would know it with their hearts. Father, I ask that your throne would be established among the people of Cairo. You would come and that you would rest in that city. I ask you, Lord, for, for a breaking through in the heavens, Lord. That there be healings, there be signs, there be wonders. I ask for a grace for miracles over the city of Cairo, Lord. That like never before, there will be people being healed in the streets and homes. There will be signs and wonders displaying your beauty, Jesus. That many would know this love. There be manifestations of this love through signs and wonders and miracles in the city of Cairo that many would know this love that passes knowledge so father of glory I come before you in your son's name and I ask you that many people in Cairo would know the love that passes all knowledge the love that saves the love that heals I ask you Lord for revelation of your love in Cairo in Jesus name Father, come make known your love in Cairo. We ask you to strengthen every heart with your everlasting love. We know the fullness, the length, the width, the depth, and the height. We ask you the revelation of your love. Your love over Cairo. To every heart, God, make it known. great manner of love is this. Give experiential knowledge of the love of Jesus Christ. Give experiential knowledge of the love of Jesus Christ. Give experiential knowledge of the love of Jesus Christ. Give Experiential knowledge of the love of Jesus Christ. Give experiential knowledge of the love of Jesus Christ. Give experiential knowledge of the love of Jesus Christ. Give experiential heart in Cairo, make known the greatness of your love, make known the greatness of your love, we ask for the one that's farthest away, Decla declare your love, break in even now today God, we are asking, trapped in fear, make known your love, and to the one in uncertainty, accusation, condemnation, come make, make known the greatness of your love, tear it down God, Every lie. To what? Terrified of the raging of the nation. 
where they were assembled together was shaken. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke the word of God with boldness. Holy Father, we come before your very throne this morning. God, in the early watches, Father, standing upon the wall as your faithful ones, Lord. God, we cry out for the church, our brothers and sisters in the city of Cairo, Lord. And Father, we ask that you would look upon the threats of the enemy. Father, the uprising of riots, turmoil, confusion in that nation Lord and father that you would pour out your perfect love upon the church God that love that casts out all fear is that love that conquers every bit of confusion and father I ask you that you would grant to them boldness and confidence father that they would be baptized in your very spirit this morning Lord father I ask you for the weak ones Lord the lowest of ones Lord Father, I ask you that you would confound the wise and that you would raise up the weakest of vessel right now. Father, that would be endued with the word of the Lord. Father, that you would write upon their heart the hour in which they live. Father, that they would have an urgency in, they, in their spirit, Lord. Father, that in the midst of a nation being shaken, Lord. Father, that you would raise up a vessel with the word of the Lord in their mouth. 
And Father, I ask that they would be uh, shakers of nations, Lord, that they would be sent out as bold witnesses to your son, Jesus Christ. Father, I ask in Jesus' name that you would look upon the threats of the enemy in Cairo, Egypt this morning and grant to your servants in the church that with all boldness they may speak your word in Jesus' name. Father of glory, grant your servants boldness. You would have a witness with the word of the Father, Lord. Father, we say release the word of the Lord. vessels with the word of the Lord. Give them courage to not we draw say, back in power, fear. Lord. Raise up those with boldness in their hearts. Asking for a voice. Raise up singers, God. Raise up musicians, Release God. The those who morning. prophesy the word we of say, God. Prophesy, God. Those who are vessels of your message. We say, we say that. Get up on the mountain and prophesy. Those who prophesy, tell God. of your glory, God. Those who would testify of your beauty. Jesus. Like you did in days of old, like you did in days of old, raise up those singers, Lord, like you did in days of old, like you did in days of old, raise up those singers, Lord, like you did in days of old, like you did in days of old, raise up those singers, God, like you did in days of old. You did in days of old, raise up those singers, God. Like you did in days of old, like you did in days of old, raise up those singers, God. Like you did in days of old, like you did in days of old, raise up those singers, Lord. God, that you would find a vessel. God, that you would raise up one like Daniel, Lord. Father, set apart for your glory. Oh God, that one would turn from the temporal satisfaction, the complacency and the spirit of this age, Father. God, I ask that you would find a willing vessel this morning and that you would grant to them confidence and boldness to proclaim the hour in which they live. Oh Father, that a movement would arise out of one vessel, Lord. We say call forth one willing youth this morning that would preach the word of the Lord with boldness. Father, not caring for his own life, but for caring for the things not of this world. Father, for the heavenly blessings, Lord, we ask you to find a vessel this morning. Oh God, we ask that you would reveal to him that you were the God that reveals deep secrets that you were the God that places men in front of kings, that you were the God that places men in front of kings with confidence to speak and proclaim the urgency of the hour, to proclaim the Christ crucified. Father, we ask that you would find a willing vessel this morning amongst the youth and the church in Cairo, Lord, one who would do great exploits, one who would understand and would instruct many in this hour, Lord, and one who would bring forth a movement that would bring out revival in the nation and of Egypt this morning, Lord. So Father, we say, pour out your spirit, Lord. We say, raise up a willing vessel this morning in Jesus' name. Abba, raise up your friends in Cairo. As you would truly hear and mark and perceive we your say, word. Open ears this morning. Those who hear you are Lord. Your friend. 
that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and in all discernment, that you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness. God, I come before you this morning and I lift up to you your bride in Cairo, Jesus. I ask God that you would come to her. Jesus, I ask that you would cause your love to abound. Jesus, that it would break off and cast out all fear. Jesus, all the lies of the enemy has come against your church in Cairo. Would you overpower them with truth, God? Would you encounter the people in Cairo with your love, Jesus? Would you pour out dreams and visions over them, God? I cry out, God, and I ask that you would open up their eyes to see your beauty, God. That you would open up their eyes to see the beauty of your son, God. That they would be captivated, Jesus that they would not be able to turn their gaze away. Jesus, I ask that you would come to your bride, that you would cause your love to abound in Jesus' name. Cause your love to abound, God. Every heart, declare your love to them. Declare Still your love, Jesus. More and more. Cause your love to 
cause your love to abound, God. Tell them I have loved you with an everlasting love. Cause your love to abound. I set my love on you. Open up their hearts, God. Open up their hearts to receive your love. Let them receive you, Jesus. I have loved you with an everlasting love, church in Cairo. Shed abroad the love of Christ. Cause your love to abound in and through your bride. children in the church in Cairo, Jesus. I ask that you would come to them as a father, as a lover, Jesus. Would you bring comfort to them, God? Would you encounter them, God? Would you cause songs to arise from the inside? Jesus, that they would rise up and they would begin to sing a prophetic song that would set the captives free, God. That light would penetrate the darkness, Jesus, sending arrows of truth. God, that it would break down the walls of deception, Jesus that it would open up many eyes, God. Would you give the children in the church in Cairo boldness in the inside, God? Would you cause them to stand and courage, Jesus, knowing that you are good, that you are faithful, God, that you will come through for them, Jesus, that nothing is too big for you, nothing is too hard for you, God. I ask that you would give dreams and visions to the young ones, God, that you would call them forth, Jesus, that they would stand, God, that they wouldn't be ashamed, God. I ask that you would cast out all fear, and God, that your love would come to them, God, that they would have discernment, God, that they would have wisdom, Jesus, to know that you are good, God. I just ask that you would allow your love to abound in these ones, in Jesus' name. Let your love abound still more and more. Ask for the all-consuming fire. Give them courage, God. Give them love in their heart. Fill them with hope, God. Father, that they would be blameless without offense. Looking for the day when you return. We ask for the children in Cairo, God. That they would be bold in their souls. And confident in your love. Grounded in your love. And confident.
Yeah. 